David, played by Matthew Wolfenden, explained to his father, Eric Pollard, Chris Chiddle, that a couple of weeks ago on Immerdale the village shop was suffering as a result of the pandemic. Even though the ITV soap stalwart stepped in to help, it seemed a rescue mission was even beyond his means as he told his son the best option would be to sell. The father of two was stubborn, however, and he has continued with his plight to save his business but his latest plan might result in his exit from the show. The drama continues in next week's episodes as David's storyline crosses over with Nicola King's, Nicola Wheeler, recent attack. As she suffers from anxiety and the thoughts of the attack plaguing her mind, she ends up getting behind the wheel of her car. This isn't the greatest decision she could have made as she goes plowing into the back of David's van with him inside. Seeing this as an opportunity to make some money quickly, he demands Nicola hands over her insurance details, even though she is in no fit state to do so. To make it seem as if he is really hurt, David ends up faking a neck injury to the insurance company so they can pile on the pressure on Nicola. As he continues to nurse his neck, Victoria Sugden, Isabella Hodgins, seems to have changed her mind about getting married. After initially turning down his proposal a few weeks ago, she tells her partner she wants a big, lavish affair with no limit to the costs. It seems he has also convinced her his neck is painful and he is pleased when his lies stand him in good stead with her. However, not everyone is so sympathetic as Brenda Walker, Leslie Dunlop, has a go at him for trying to take a claim out against Nicola. She reminds him it was a minor collision and there wasn't much damage done at all to him or the vehicle. It's not too long before Victoria gets wind of how back David's finances are when Priya Sharma, Fiona Wade, tells her he has been missing child maintenance payments. Victoria is likely to grill her partner about their finances and whether he is actually nursing a neck injury or not. David could explain it is their only way to get some money and although his partner would disapprove, he would go ahead with the claim. As the money hits his bank account, the shopkeeper could be quite pleased to know he has managed to pull the wool over the authorities' eyes. Unfortunately for him, Victoria could decide she's not going to stick by a fraudster and report him to the police over his claim. When they arrive at the shop, David could be confused, not realizing his partner has betrayed him by calling the authorities. With no explanation as to why he lied, the father of two could face a lengthy prison sentence as he is charged for committing fraud. This could lead to David's permanent exit from the show as not many characters are still involved with the drama in the village once they are jailed. How will the rest of the residents of Emmerdale react when they discover David was using Nicola when she was at her most vulnerable? And where will this leave his relationship with Victoria as another one of her partners is arrested for a crime, leaving her to fend for herself? How well do you know your British soaps? How many times has Ian Beale been married in EastEnders? What is the name of Bianca Jackson and Ricky Butcher's son on EastEnders? On EastEnders in 2002, who accidentally ran Jamie Mitchell over in his car which caused his death. How many times has Corey Steve McDonald been married? What happened to Emily Bishop in Coronation Street? Who murdered Maxine Peacock in Coronation Street in 2003? Question mark which incident in 1993 killed off four characters in Immerdale? When did the show stop being known as Immerdale Farm? On what day did Holly Oaks air its first episode? What was the name of the much-loved Coronation Street pet dog who was put down in April 2020 after 14 years? Question mark 1996 saw the arrival of one of Holly Oaks all-time bad boys and rival of Kurt Benson, but who was he? Who is the longest-serving character on Coronation Street? Who shot Phil in these tenders? 
How many fires have there been at Corey's Rover's return? Get out of my pub, you're no soaps fan you're either too young to remember the big lines or have better things to do on weekday evenings casual viewer you watch them sometimes so you kinda know what's been going on die hard fan you love watching the soaps so much your entire week is planned around when they air even though he has been on the show for over 15 years, the actor who plays David, Matthew, has admitted he doesn't watch the show. The soap star said, Charlie, Webb, loves the show and shall watch every episode. I love the show but I can't watch it myself. I hate it and I have to fast forward through my parts. It's been about six years since I last watched myself. I found I was picking holes in my performance and going into work and feeling miserable and it was affecting my work. It's not that it done anything bad, I'm just one of those people who pick holes in myself, so I had to stop watching myself to enjoy going to work again. If they keep employing me, they obviously like me, explained in an interview with OK! Magazine. It seems Matthew could keep playing the role of David for some time yet, meaning he might get a shorter prison sentence to give the actor some time off. If David were sentenced to a few months in prison, he could come back with some grudges to bear as he wants revenge on those who betrayed him and turned their back on him. Will his money problems completely transform the father of two as he becomes a much bitter character?